these vicious guard dogs are gonna eat me alive. Good, I just want Sweet. Got him to calm down the guard dogs. But yeah, this is definitely a plasma. Oh, I didn't just step on. Plasma fire tree. See if I can turn on the light. Show you that on the inside here. It's all charcoal. Yeah, it's bizarre. Uh, each one of these little holes, there used to be a branch sticking out and it burns the branch right back in and then leaves the outer hardwood shell unburned. But yeah, I've been filming these. I've been collecting them as an over-the-road truck driver. I'd stop and cut them off and throw them on the flatbed and take them home and strip them and lacquer them. Yeah, we need to refinish that one again. And then I put a little flame lamp by those little light bulbs at Walmart where you can put a flickering flame, sure. simulates a flame inside so it looks like it's on fire inside. Yeah. But yeah, this is kind of a new phenomenon. I call it plasma fire. I've been studying it for five years. Yeah. It's really cool to run into someone who else has noticed it. Yeah, I got a... I got another one down in my basement that's freaking looks like it's had something come down and smashed it and it's been a squished. Uh -huh. Out, uh huh. And then it burned on the inside of where all those ribs are. I've got similar ones. Yeah. I do have similar ones. It's, it's buried down in there. <laughs> like it blew it apart at center mass. Yeah, like it just like something hit it. Uh huh. And, and everything kind accordioned of, it out, kind of squished out. Huh. And then and then it burned out inside of the where all the. It's pretty cool looking. I'm gonna make a table out of it eventually. Yeah. Put a glass top on it. It's almost like lightning, but I think it comes from underground. Yeah, it's some true. sort of weird new phenomenon that burns the trees from the inside. Trippy. Yeah, we were out cutting firewood when we found that one. Yeah. Got that one home for my mom because we knew she'd love it. I like how you've decorated it made it a lawn ornament. <laughs> yeah. What's this you got on top? It's just some, some plastic stuff that I... Uh-huh, you make resins? I, I, I got it a long time ago. Out of, huh. Well, yeah, my YouTube channel is Jeff Snyder 2, S N Y D E R with the number 2 on the end. And I've been videoing these out where in like nine different states when I drive around. Sure. And I got a whole storage unit full of pieces like this that are lacquered up. You're the first guy I've seen that has the eyes to see that something's a little different about that. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Hey, what's your name? Richard Brierly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's cool to find someone else has the eyes to see and has preserved a piece of the plasma fire. So now that that went well, let's go on down here and show you some of the other plasma fire signs in the neighborhood. Okay, we're coming up here on 200 West and 600 South, a couple blocks away from where we just were at Richard's house. Mr. Briarly, if you remember the name of my YouTube channel, Jeff Snyder too, and you happen to show up here to see your video, here's a couple more spots in your neighborhood where plasma fire has struck and a similar process to what created the lawn ornament you got there in your front yard happened right here. To this tree where you can see it's charcoal in the middle unburnt on the outside all the way around creating one of these hollow trees so there's two trees right here that bear the same resemblance this one and that one When they were cut down, these probably both looked similar to the tree in Richard's front yard. This isn't what I intended to show. I just happened to pass it in on my route to show you the drainage ditch all along Center Street that is scorched and burned. And as I pass, you can see so is the grass right along here. So is the trench right along there. And it looks like someone tied their dog up here, right? One of these little dog ropes. And you can see how melted that is. And only on this side. So there was definitely plasma fire right here. 
in this trench and only to right there. Right there it stops. But I thought I would show you some of this on my way since I happen to be walking and it happens to be here. That's turned to ash. Charcoal. Likewise with all of this, ash, charcoal. See this plastic bottle? That's like a Coke bottle, melted. Not on the bottom side, but here on the top side. So there was most definitely a plasma fire right here. Turned all this to charcoal. But it was isolated to just this spot right here. Right here, in the ditch right there. And it looks like a little bit past the uh, conduit there. And the trench stops burning right here. So now let me show you what I spotted along Center Street that I know happened 48 hours ago, approximately. This drainage ditch, irrigation canal, whatever you want to call it, is scorched in the middle from Main Street, right up there, Main Street where the light is, clear to 300 West. And I've pointed out this pattern before that wa uh, plasma flows like water hitting the low spot. Sometimes you'll see a field that's burned and then anywhere there's a little molehill that rises up just a little bit is unburned on that top of that little molehill. And then it'll scorch the rest of the ground and another molehill that rises up will be unburned like it flows like water. Going toward the lowest area. The tips of all this grass is turned to ash. See that? So I know a lot of people will say, oh, well maybe that was someone sprayed some oil or weed killer and it turned the weeds black because they get starved of oxygen when they get sprayed with weed killer or something. No. And I appreciate people's attempt to try to explain this within the confines of their known world. But the old viewers of this channel know that what I'm showing you here is plasma fire. And all this grass is turned to ash all along this trench right here. Okay, so now that you know what you're looking at, scorched trench, irrigation trench. They still have these bags all along Center Street for the flooding because the snow melting so quickly is creating runoff so much that we're having problems with flooding. So this was very wet. You can still see the green right next to the burnt. All of this was green, wet. Here you can see the green shoots. In fact, those green shoots might have come out now. You can see the green shoots sticking out where the outside of the stalk is burnt. It says in the Bible, one third of the trees will burn and all the green grasses will burn. That's what you're looking at is green grass burning. And you can see the green and the black. So let's just walk up this trench. And just give you a couple more spot tests where you can pick up the grass and see that it's turned to ash only in the low-lying area. So on the freeway, as I'm driving down the freeway, you'll see this quite often, because in the freeway, 
you'll have lanes going one way and lanes going the opposite direction on the other side of the freeway and in the center of the freeway there's this low-lying area and you'll see a burn that goes up to here and then has a flat straight line all the way across does not burn above a very specific line like water that finds a certain level that's what's happening here it's burning the low-lying area So, there was nothing sprayed. This isn't something that came in the runoff. It's not oil, it's not weed killer. Here's a small area of the trench that did not burn. No burn here. Come right down here and you'll see another area of the trench that did burn. Uh, here's where some burn starts, right here. on down the trench All right, I thought, thought I had company so clearly this trench is very wet there's nothing that's dry within this trench that would easily catch fire yet it's scorched all the way down from Main Street to 3rd West. So, I think I'm gonna leave that and now take you to show you some other phenomenons. Oh yeah, by the way, I found this scorched trench Friday night. I walk this same street every single night. Occasionally I'll take 1st North instead of Center Street. But I guarantee this happened between Wednesday night, May 3rd, and Friday night, May 5th, when I found it, this happened within that time frame. And right now it's starting to snow. Are you serious? It's starting to hail snow, rain, snot, or something. But my point is, I know exactly when this happened because I walk this trail every day. And I noticed this a long time ago. Ooh, what are we doing? You can see that looks like a a piece of plasma burned area on the tree. I'll show you some more of those. Uh, just a few more plasma fire indicators down the roadway. As long as it don't start raining, it's starting to starting to drop some water. So we might cut this video short and save the other plasma fire phenomenons that I can show you in the local area. For another video. First we'll just go along and show you the rest of the burnt irrigation trench. And all the way along it, the tips of the grass is turned to ash. You see? You know what I'm saying? I think this is where we started. And... So this, this phenomenon, this pattern of the fire only burning the low-lying area is common. I've seen it many a times. Uh, in this case it didn't turn the corner right there, but there's another one where it did. So, you see this trench did not burn. That's what it looks like before plasma fire. That's what it looks like after. Right there, there's a little bit of green grass like someone came along and mowed the yard here today. This is green grass that's thrown in on top after the fire. 
someone mowed this piece of grass right there today. Okay, so here's a better example of what it looks like after plasma fire. That other one was after plasma fire with some green grass clippings thrown in on top because someone had come and mowed someone had come along and mowed but even where it's burnt here you still see little green shoots coming up anyway I'll try not to belabor this point too much more bottom line is this trench plasma fired and it's still raining and snow is still melting so much so they have the sides of the road lined with sandbags because of flooding. Yet plasma fire is already striking. It's gonna be a hot summer, real hot. One, two, three, do you love me? Here, you can see this one where it turned the corner. It didn't burn right here as much as it did right here. And then it goes down that trench just a little ways. Plasma far, and on the down the trench it goes. So when it's burning, a very wet area like a drainage ditch that has very green foliage in it. While it's still raining, it's literally raining right now. Look at the sidewalk. It started raining again. It was raining Friday night when I first found this and took a video. But I thought I'd come back because there's better lighting here now. So when it's burning, drainage ditches that are full of green, moist, non-flammable material. One, two, three, do you love me? Watch me scream, burn it on the trees in amazement. Cause I'm on fire. Four, five, six, show you all my tricks. Fee, five, fo, a giant's at the door in amazement. Cause I'm on fire. Five, six, seven, it's a hot day in heaven. It's a cruel, cruel world for good boys and girls. A hot day in heaven, five, six, and seven in amazement. Cause I'm on fire. There, that was the right lyric with no hope from the devil. Can I get a amen for all the bleeding and the praying? I had to struggle to be gracious. Now you can touch it, you can taste it. Taste the smoke, taste the smoke. This is no joke. 15 years, blood, sweat, and tears in amazement. Cause I'm on fire. And I sure wish someone else was, but apparently I'm still the only one five years later, so I'll take it. You see the burnt tips of the grass everywhere, right? Even right here in this green bush. See the burnt tips of grass? Burnt blades of grass sticking out of the greenery? Right? And it's like that all along here. You can see the burnt blades of grass that are sticking out along with the green blades of grass. And then there's spots where it's the burn tips. Burn tips. That are turned to ash. Other spots that are up here, away from the main burn area. It's starting to rain, I'm getting a little bit wet. So we might just call that your plasma fire video for the day. Call her good. So yeah, April showers.